GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and we are here today doing the Alpha 10, and you guessed it, it's 10.5 Experimental. Um, I ported the scenario over to 10.5, just my save. I haven't actually fired it up in 10.5 as a new start so I'm not sure how compatible the scenario is but this seemed okay I made a copy first of course so before I fired up the old save I made a copy just in case it didn't work and it seems to be fine you can see some of the features are the planets are much more um, they look just way better now from space. So you can actually see what they look like for real, kind of. It's it's much better. Um, and there's a lot more improvements. And yes, we still have the Camel Shack Evolved floating above us here in space. Um, we've been working on this thing and working on it and working on it. And here, let's go up. It's pretty much done. There's a couple of things I would like to still do, but I'm not going to get to before 10.5 goes to stable. And 10.5 is going to go to stable any day here. So it's I have no time left. So I'm going to basically finish off the series today with the premier or the 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 maiden voyage of the evolved camel shack with all its weaponry we're not going to do anything special we're just going to i, I want to see how heavy it is going down to a planet and then uh i'll um I'll like item menu a whole bunch of blocks in or something and see if we can lift like it's full cargo bays full or something so let's go test this thing out and that's how we're going to end up this the episode um we're going to test it up by blowing up a bunch of bases on the planet which is crazy because you don't take a cv to do that because it's just it's so inefficient and ridiculous because you can only shoot with a few of its turrets and i'll show you um here I, not all of the turrets are actually retractable what we'll do is we'll turn them off for now. And the ones that are retractable sink back in. So there you go. So most of them along the nacelles are all retractable. I think all except for on the outside. Did I leave those? Yeah, I left those um, as targets, I guess. I don't know. These are all the regular cannons so they they work in the atmosphere anyway so i so they're always going to work so i i don't even know why i would bother putting them away because they're always going to be active right that was my philosophy so what's what's the point um although the cannons themselves would count as the the so the whole cannon would have to be destroyed before the actual bricks underneath could get destroyed but it's it's less likely that the bricks underneath destroyed get destroyed before the cannon so yeah uh, anyway let's uh let's take a look at to see what this thing has for hit points it's 3450 wow not bad the I only put one big giant frickin' cannon on it. And the artillery turret has 5,000, so it's got a lot of hit points. So, you know, I'm not even sure if, if it was, uh, I think it is airtight. Oh yeah, we looked at that. And it was actually two blocks tall. The base of it was two blocks tall. So we would have taken up the entire entire roof section here oh well anyway what we're going to do today is we're going to fire this thing up we're going to take it down 
to the planet and we're gonna let it get shot up <laughs> to finish the series because any day it's gonna be um this is gonna go stable and i'm gonna have to start a new series because of all the changes so you know let's just finish this off with a bit of a bang i did make a bunch of stuff so let's port that over and all this look at all the storage on this thing it's just amazing <laughs> uh, and and a lot of it is in the multi multi k most of it is as you can see we've got the ore and wood which is the 320 k one but there's lots of medium size so good for mats and stuff like that uh, some larger mid larger ones um and the secondary one is a mid larger one too so there you have it the ammo is the smallest one at seventy-two thousand, and all of that only equaled up 1100 so it's eh, i'd have to put i'd have to put just tons of ammo into this thing to fill that up <laughs> it's like way over provisioned for ammo um but you can also use it for storage too if you run out you know uh, anyway, so let's get this thing fueled up. Oh, I did. I fueled it up, and that was ridiculous. It took uh, 145,000 units of fuel. It was like, it was like half a full stack of Promethium uh, uh, fusion cells, the big ones. Uh, oxygen is total capacity 52,000. And Pentaxid, we just ground up a bunch, so that would be in the... I think I had it connected to the mats. Yeah, we'll throw that in there. Now, I did make my rocket launchers. So that can handle 500. Okay, so we can put another... We can put another 100 Pentaxid in this tank, by the look of it. If I'm reading that right. We have half capacity right now of 100. So 200. So that's a big improvement from before. Uh, before it was a like 64, I think, pentaxid. Like individual little refined pieces in each slot. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's a big improvement. So 200, you can warp around quite a bit or do whatever you need now that you need shields, right? Which this thing has, which we're going to try out. Um, I don't even bother. I'm, I don't think I'm going to bother mounting the rocket launcher. Uh, I've already taken a blueprint of it. It is currently sitting at class six, just over class five. At class six, level 25, it requires 31,784 iron. <laughs> only 2330 carbon uh 2177 copper 3083 silicone but 50000 5309 sathium uh another real big number is the 7500 neo ouch um almost you know four and a half k cobalt the 6k arrestrium and zascosium that's that hurts, and if I put those those rocket launchers on, that would that would probably crank up quite a bit more. That probably about probably close to about seven thousand arrestrium zascosium, I think, because those things are like super expensive. Those rocket launchers, and I have no neo left. I have like a tiny little tiny little stack of like eighty or something. So yeah, I think. We're done for the series. I'm going to take this thing down and we're going to crash it into the planet and see how it does. So let's do it. So first of all, let's turn this thing on. Get some lights on. Thank you very much. And to tell the truth, let's just crank everything on right now. So we've got the turrets and weapons thrusters oxygen you turn all the engines on turn the shield on 
American Gravity on. Okay, so massive shield, 3600 armor. And we've got uh, 7,000 rounds for the projectile turrets and 5,000 rounds for the sentry guns. So we're going to try and take on some POIs with just some mundane turrets. Let's see how we do. <laughs> this thing's a beast. Uh, how many turrets, how many of those type of turrets do we actually have to? Did we actually group everything? Okay, so we've got... The sentry guns are ungrouped. Okay, the plasma turrets are ungrouped. Rocket turrets ungrouped. Okay, that's fine for now. Um, what I need to do is put them all on the switch. On the big switch through the signal thing. Um, but that's fine. Let's just take this thing down, see how it does. What else? I mean, yeah, we've got ridiculous amounts of everything on it now. <laughs> uh, okay. Lots of T2 fuel tanks, a bunch of T3. We've only got two T2 generators, but they those T2 generators pump out like a ton of energy, so it's fine for us. Uh, the gravity gen, is that on? Yep, that's on. Grow light. So we're all, the garden is all ready and ready to be planted. And got the 16 hangar doors. So I don't have any ramps and stuff on this because I didn't build it with any of the newer blocks, unfortunately. But you know what? It's going to, I think it's going to rock. Let's, let's, let's go take it down. Now, should I use this bridge? Is this, would this be considered the, the combat bridge? I don't know. I don't think so. I think this is more the maneuvering bridge. So let's head down here. Let's take our jetpack off. We've got gravity. So let's. That's so cool. Uh, oh, right. Yeah. No, it's. Uh, we got to keep going down. Got to keep going down. See, I don't even know everything on this ship here actually here let's stay back in the uh, first person view so yeah the bridge is up here so there's the gardens i think i've already shown you you guys around the ship to this point you've already seen all this that's the medical center that's a little cafe there for the garden up here yeah, it's the crafting areas and all the storage and stuff. It doesn't look like much, but trust me, this is pack full. <laughs> I just have a very plain looking. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, cargo and construction with some, uh, um, you know, the armor lockers and, and a uh, repair locker. If you want more than that, you can put them in yourself. Well, you know, it's for one person, I don't need more than that right now. So here's the, the, let's call this the combat bridge. This is probably not a very good combat bridge, but let's jump in and let's see how this thing, oops, let's bash into our base. And, oh, I left the ramps here. I think we, if we shut it off and turn it back on really quick does that work no it didn't uh, I don't care if the ramps are up or open let's uh, let's just head down to base and see how this thing handles so I mean in in yeah let's auto group everything here in uh, atmosphere this thing's gonna handle differently because right now it's got 34 down, 35 front and back. I mean, that's these are insane numbers. These are insane numbers for, and, and 
that's just because we're out in space. I mean, this thing might drop like a rock into the ocean. <laughs> and if it does, so be it. We'll know. We'll know better. I, I have a feeling it should handle the atmosphere, though. So we're gonna we're gonna head there. I'll take the break off, and I will meet you guys there. Okay, we are coming up on the planet here, and I figured I'd just check out my stats and everything on this thing first. Um, not using any power, or not thrusting anyway, with everything turned on. With absolutely everything turned on, we are sitting at about a thousand minutes idling in space. Now let's see when we go forward and in the atmosphere, see now we're at like a hundred minutes under full thrust in in space. As soon as we have atmosphere, this is going to dump. So 51, 26 minutes. Oof. And can we stop? Yeah. Oh yeah. Actually this thing just not that big of a deal, but wow, you can see once we level off, the fuel consumption is about 50 minutes under power, half an hour. Okay, so that's why you don't take CVs down onto planets unless you know where you're going <laughs> and you specifically land there. So you can see where we have very little time and that was like an insane, insane amount of fuel. Now, let's take a look at our stats under gravity. So they're all the same still. Okay. I wasn't sure if those changed, if they showed differently. Um, apparently not, so that's good. Now, let's see, where, where are we on the map? Is there anything close by to shoot? <laughs> that stupid glitched thing in the middle of the planet. Yeah. I don't know if I left anything to shoot, to tell you the truth. Damn, did I take out everything? No, there's got to be... There's red down here. Way down there. There's red... Oh yeah, red right over here. So if we go straight down, there's something red here. Oh, that's the, oh, yeah, let's go down to the south. So this thing maneuvers in atmosphere, not too bad. It's a little bit sluggish, but for a class six, you know, okay, that's really far. So let's go up into space and come back down we'll head towards our marker and the reason i'm doing this is that it'll be cheaper and faster okay so where's the planet right there we'll just uh, cruise along its Upper, upper atmosphere here. Not quite in the atmosphere, but feeling the effects of it. You can see we have a lot more fuel doing this. And we actually move a lot faster, too. So, it's, uh, it's just smarter. Okay, so that was, I forget what was, what was that, five kilometers? So let's take a look. Where are we? Over the pole? No. No, where are we? Oh, we are. We're in the middle of the pole. <laughs> okay, I'm like, what? Yes, we are in the middle of the pole. Okay, perfect. So we want over here. That was perfect. Okay, now from what I remember, here, let's straighten out. I didn't bring any more fuel with me. That's okay, we've, we've got enough for the episode. And 
we're not going to continue this series after that anyway. Um, I guess what I should do is one last time. Did I let me let me make sure um, that I did. So I'll just look at the iron count. I guess that's good enough. That'll tell me 31, 31784. Through an eight, eight, yeah, three one seventy four. Okay, so we are all blueprinted up, and I will actually publish that right now. We'll make that uh, public. So there's a lot of room in the engineering still to expand, put more fuel tanks in, whatever you want to do. Now, from what I remember, there's like a big platform or something over here. It was some sort of something I've never seen before. So let's let's go get shot down by it. Yeah, see it? What is that? Sweet. This this thing won't be able to take it out because it just Oh uh, maybe. I mean, we'll see. But I'm gonna get shot at any second here, I think. Are those blue oh these are those are going to be rockets, so we've got 100% shield right now. We'll know when we start getting hit, when our shields start going down. So, GIFs Patrol Headquarters. Okay. Oh, I'm shooting it. I'm shooting something. I'm not being shoot shot at, though. So, what am I shooting at? Let's, um, let's actually correct our... Behavior of the turrets. Where's the turret? Turret, 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 turret. So we don't want predator alien. We don't want generator. Warp drive. There we go. We'll see if it's stopped. No, okay. It's still shooting. It's blowing stuff up. Okay, I don't even know what it's blowing up. There's a defense over there. And... Are we still shooting at it? See, I can't tell. Let's, uh... Let's zoom right in. Let's just zoom right in then. <laughs> okay. Damn, we're bigger than the... Oh, that thing looks sweet. What is it? It's got some sort of... Should we just land on it? So it obviously had turrets on it or something because I was shooting them. It's a floating... Ah, oh, that's so cool. So it's a, it's a floating patrol headquarter. That is so cool. Okay, let's see what happens against this turret when it can shoot at us. Or is it is it even going to shoot at us? Come on, shoot at us. Oh, wow, it didn't get a chance. Bioweapons lab. Okay, well, let's see. Can you can Oops, oops, hitting the uh hitting the base. Oh, there's men down there. Okay. Oh, shields out a hundred. Shields out a hundred. Oh, 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 here we go. We're we're taking we're taking hits to the shield now. Let's see let's see how we fare. Ninety six. Ninety five. Oh, we're blowing we're blowing up turrets by the look of it or something. Can we just sit here and tank it? Can we sit here and tank it? Let's see with just our with our crappy mundane turrets. Can we just sit here and tank it? It looks like it, maybe. Oh yeah, we just blew up another one. And we're at 86%. Oh, we just blew up another one. Yeah, nice. 
Let's see, can I actually avoid... Let, let's actually... See, no, the, it, they are unavoidable. Those red those red ones, you can't... You can't avoid hit, getting hit by them. If they shoot at you. And, okay. Well, we, it looks like we took it out. Um... Well, that was freaking trivial. I did, I, what did we drop down to? 83%? And now the shield's climbing back up. <laughs> okay, so we had 100 pentaxid. Let's see. So we shouldn't have any damage. Um, no, what am I doing? I want to look to see how much here. Uh, 60? Wow! We fried a ton of pentoxid and fuel. So, I mean, was it worth it? No. No. <laughs> don't, don't take on a fuel with this thing unless you're out in space, then yeah. Yeah, I'd put some, I'd put the rocket cannons on it if I was out in space, if I was you guys. So let, let's, okay, I've been to the bioweapons lab before. You know what? You know what? I didn't bring any weapons with me to venture with, but I guess I should have because I think I want to land on this thing. Really? Yeah, I do. Okay. Let's switch it up here so where how am i going to land on it i either come down from the hatch right there okay so i gotta come forward more this thing's ridiculous i can't land on this thing can i So I take it the other patrol vessel is quite a bit smaller than my uh, Evolve Camel Shack here. Okay, so let's spin around. We'll level off. Okay, we should be on it there. We've got 30 minutes. Let's see what happens when we come down. Oh, we smash <laughs> when we come down too fast. That's what that's what happens. And can we just, can we just go like that? No? No? Here, let's try pulling forward a bit. Because it looks like we can, like, jump down. Here, let's zoom out a bit just so I can see. We we'll go like this, and then I can drop down, right? Like that. Am I going to take damage if I drop down? Probably. I'll probably die. But that would be a fitting end to the uh, video. So 29 minutes. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Are we going to fall? Are we going to fall? Are we going to tip off? Oh, we're teetering. That's fine. Let's jump out. Okay. Well, my guns aren't freaking out, so I'm not really sure if if there's even any. Um, I'm not. I'm not really sure if there's any dudes on this base. So what do we got with us? We've got pulse rifle with like a thousand bullets. That's not bad, and. 26 rounds of T2 rocket. Okay, we're not doing that bad. We might be able to... We've got we've got a bunch of healing. How's our armor? It's... Meh. It's seen better days, but it still has some use to it. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. We're going to take some serious fall damage here. Um, so that kind of sucks. But let's just do it. We've got our jetpack on. No. Okay. So, here we go. Let's go down and try not to die. Well, 
we're on an angle, so I keep. Okay, okay, so here we go, and. Oh, we didn't die. Okay. Turn our light on. And. Yeah, I know, I can't get back up to my ship, I doubt, but I don't really care. Oh, I might be able to. Um, what the heck is down here? Let's reload. Oh, crap! Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Is there guys over there? Oh, sweet. Okay, so there are guys. What's in here? Is that just a glass? That looks like glass. Yeah, that's heavy glass. Okay, so. And what is down here? Here, let's drone it up. Let's drone it up. Ah, it's too bad it's dark out, isn't it? That's okay. The drone has a pretty good light on it. Ooh. It's under power. So, what do we got? Do we got any, like, guns? Not shooting at us. I don't see a spawner. It's raining. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Uh, look for... Look for guns. I don't see any guns. Those are some big T2 generators. Okay, do we got... Sp oh, there's a spawner. Oh, there's a gun right there. Meh. It's not shooting at me. I'm not sure why. Oh, come on. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so there's a gun there when we come down to the core. So there's one... Oh, crap. One spawner. So let's do this. If I die, I die. Whatever. Be a fitting end. Ooh, I'm, I don't want to go down there. That looks like, like some hanging gangplank crap out in the middle of nowhere. I don't want to do it. Okay, so let's, why am I, yeah, there we go. Uh, there was nothing here, was there? Whoa, that <sighs> scared the bejesus out of me. Is that actually a, that is a hatchway. Waiting for stuff to drop on me or or like invisible spawners. Oh, this this place is freaking me right out for some reason. I don't know why I am freaked right out. It's just kind of spooky. Can I get to the spawner? wonder if I can, you know what, you know what, this, this is a cheese move. Let's try this. Oh, no, I can't get over the railing. Crap. That kind of hurt. So let's just heal up for a second here. Probably nuke my armor a little bit. Yep. Okay. So how do I... Can I just take that out? Can I just... There, thank you. <laughs> okay. So now, yeah, there we go. Okay. 
Okay. Now there was a gun. Oh, is that a spawner over there? No, okay. I'm gonna fall down there if I do this. You know what, let's, let's just cheese out. I don't really care about anything else at this point. There's no... There we go. <laughs> Blow the core up <laughs> with the incidental damage. There we go. Yay, we took out the base. <sighs> yeah, the cheesy way, I know. Well, let's go check it out. Let's switch to our regular gun here. There might be some dudes that have spawned. I don't really hear anyone, though. This is cool. This is a cool base. I should just take it over. In fact, I'm just going to do that exact thing. So let's just put the, the core back in the core spot. Yeah. Oh, scare me, scare me. What's going on? What's it shooting? I don't know what it's shooting. Blew something up. <laughs> nice. Okay. So, here, let's zap this away. And we'll throw the core in here. Uh, right here. And yay! Your base is mine! <laughs> oh, there was that gun, which is mine. And those T2 generators, which are mine. And here, let's check out the stats because it still says there's a drone base. Yet I took it out, so I'm not really... I, I don't understand how there can still be a drone base. I guess it's perpetual and you can never not get drone base attacked because I took out the drone base on this planet so <laughs> okay I literally melted it down to nothing so it doesn't exist anymore it was the heck was it again it was over here now I removed it from the map <laughs> so i guess it doesn't matter anymore if you take out the drone base it just doesn't matter it 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 makes no freaking difference <laughs> it's like <sighs> whatever that's fine so it's just a config thing in in the it's just a configuration thing then uh, of your choosing if you want if you want that planet to have a drone base attack system or not well that's fine um, at least they do give us the option to turn that off and on per planet but it would be nice to actually on in single player to kind of turn that off right by blowing up the drone base I don't know I was yeah I'm I'm kind of disappointed that it seems like I'm gonna get attacked like, I almost want to hang out and wait for a freaking attack. It just doesn't say when. It doesn't say when it's going to calculate, when, when it's going to happen. So, I don't know if it will now. Because I took out the drone base, right? So, maybe it won't. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll have to hang out. Uh, you know what I'll do? Is I'm going to leave the episode here and I'll probably run the um, the game a little bit longer just to well actually you know what let's go around and uh, glass freak me out um, let's that's interesting let's 
That's very cool. I can't get through here though, can I? Nope. Unless I go like this. So yeah, okay. Well, that was fun. We uh, cheesed out a bit, but that's okay. And what what was it constantly shooting? Something was spawning from over here, I think. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, what's shooting? Where, 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 what? Who? Why? <laughs> Which one of my guns was shooting? And at who? And how? <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't see. Well, this is a cool... I mean, it's just... It's massive, right? This base is massive. Although my uh, CV kind of dwarfs it. Okay, okay, where, where is that part? Where, which one is shooting? It's that one there. What are we shooting at? Shooting at guys on the ground? Oh, I could not care. Oh, man, I could care less. <laughs> okay. I thought it was guys that were on the base here the whole freaking time, so... Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> okay, okay. You done? No, apparently not. What the hell is it shooting at? Guys on the ground? Oh, I can actually... Can I hit that from here? <laughs> cool is that? I could. Okay, well... Um, I would say... Giant CV... Wins. <laughs> giant CV wins. Um, but... At a cost of... Uh, ridiculous amounts of fuel so let's go check i don't think i can even get back up can i because i stupidly just jumped out didn't really care if i could get back up doesn't really matter here we'll just look at the stats here so we ended up using sixty-five thousand fuel just to fly here <laughs> holy crap Woo! Okay, um... So yeah, this is a... Don't take it to the planet unless you're parking for a long time and gathering up fuel again. <laughs> unless you're going somewhere to park and have it as like a temporary base while you like drop off a big tank and go like kill the rest of the planet. And, and like... You, but you never... you. You never move the CV, hardly ever. You just like, yeah, wow. Whew. So super expensive on Pentaxid because it used Oops, <laughs> not that one. It used 42 Pentaxid to power up the shields, take a bunch of hits, and then recharge them. So, super expensive. In my opinion, that's really expensive, because Pentaxid is not that easy to get. Uh, wow. Okay. So, not ideal. Um, was it effective? Sure. Absolutely. I took out all the defenses, and nobody even damaged me. But... At what cost? 65,000 fuel? 
ridiculous. So don't do it, guys. <laughs> you don't take a giant CV down to a planet. That's that's not the point of a giant CV. Although, I guess it is to just do a one-shot drop-off of a giant tank. And, you know, a giant SV on its back to take out the patrol vessel first. So, or a decent SV. Which I should have done. I might be able to get back in here. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, hit the edge. Oh, no, I don't think I can get in. <laughs> awesome. Stranded myself. <laughs> well, not really, because I could just build up a... I mean, I could just do something cheesy like... Uh, Here we take that and just, and just. I'm not really sure. Oh, I picked that up. That's good. And then I can just like you know put this under it. And then there we go. Hey, voila! <laughs> just to have be, just gotta have some imagination. Well, guys, that uh, that was fun, um, and we own a big giant floating platform on the planet now. Because you know, if I was going to take over any base and just leave it as my base, that would have been this is the one, <laughs> for sure, right? Of course. Well, I hope you like this series. The next series is going to be of a fresh vanilla start. Uh, as soon as um, 10.5 goes to stable, which is probably going to be tomorrow. So I'll get cooking on a new series. And it's going to be, I haven't decided if it's going to be a temperate start or an arid start. Um, Maybe I'll do that. Um, oh, you know what? There's supposed to be a bunch of changes. I'm not sure about the um, the starting quest, so I'm not going to worry about those. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do the advanced temperate start one, and we'll finish off. We'll probably finish off the the Alpha Ten on that vanilla start, and we'll. We'll get as we'll try and can't conquer as much of it as possible. We'll try and our goal will be to um, bring this ship in, and because we won't have to actually spend a lot of time working on it, we'll have it at our disposal to bring it down to a planet, build a build a big tank to take on the planet it's with, and um, yeah. We'll have, we have a SV down there. You know what I'll do, too, is let's, um, um, you know what? I'll do it off camera because i got to fly back up there, so I'll do it off camera. Or I could suicide and then clone back up there, maybe. That'll be the fastest. Uh, anyway, we're going to call it here. And next episode is going to be the fresh start on a temperate planet with the advanced start so we won't need to uh, go through the um, starting quests although that does give you good AP trust me those those starting quests are worth doing just for the AP um, well guys it's been a blast next series is going to be coming up right away and that's going to be a fresh start like i said uh we'll be uh bringing this in as soon as possible but it's it's hellish amount of sathium now and stuff right like holy crap like this thing's insane now you know fifty thousand sathium well i guess it was about that before so that hasn't really changed but 7500 neo that's going to be painful same with the 6,000 arrestrium zascosium that's going to take a while to gather so I'm going to have to build a small mining CV like before um, 
I mean, I do like the one we built, but I'll, I'll probably build another one from scratch again. I like the little building the little stuff myself by, by scratch and evolving them. Uh, the big stuff like this, I work on intermittently and spawn then then like spawn that in again and work on it a little bit, spawn it in. This one is so close to being done that the next time we spawn it in, we will finish it. We'll finish it with the uh, the engineering room. We're going to have to put in a whole bunch more fuel tanks. <laughs> well, guys, come on, let me down. Until then. You guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.